Welcome back. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you now how to add or join table and how to transfer different property from one table to another table. Since we already have the streamlines, right? We already uh, extracted the streams or the river network for our watershed or sub watershed. Now I'm going to add the properties of this stream flows, right? I have the measured stream flow. The annual average stream flow will calculate that one and we have this information in different table so if we want to add this information to this stream so how can we do that so let me quickly show you that one uh, i'm starting from where i left previously so we have this map right we're done until that one if you already practice that part or if you don't have so you can yeah you can even follow the previous step as well so once we are here I'm changing the data view or even it is okay you can go with this one as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open the ta attribute table and we can see we have the common ID right so based on that common ID I'm gonna add a field there right annual average water or flow rate we have that information in different table so how can I do that so these are called field so if I add a new field, it will add a column and it will ask you. So that will be average, okay? So average annual and Q. I'm giving the short name, that one. And that will be double, okay? I'm giving the double. That is the type, right? If you have integer, it means there is nothing like decimal. So it will be double, including decimal and everything. So it will add one empty field, blank field. That's it. I'm closing this one now I'm gonna add the table we have where we have the table because we downloaded three different data set so we already processed uh, two and now I'm gonna add erom extensions this one and I'm gonna add the table which one where I have the stream flow so which one it will be ma okay this one erom MA this is basically mean annual flow rate mean annual flow rate okay MA that that is the uh, that is one that has that okay mean annual zero zero okay I'm adding that one and let's see it added here you can op open the table you can see the com ID this com ID and that com ID these are the similar one and here we can see different information, different attributes. And if you go on the right side, we have many, right? We don't need that. We don't need this thing or that thing, okay? What we need, we need to join this table with our stream table. So how can we do that? We need to add everything from this table to stream table. And we have one blank space there. We have to fill up this, right? We have to fill up these values by the value we have there in our attribute table where it is it is nothing but that one e q zero zero one e yeah that that one okay that field that field let me just uh, quickly show you yeah q triple zero one e that field is the annual average flow rate so we are gonna add this field to our empty field there there so how can we do that it is possible in GIS so that's why we're gonna learn new skills so if you click right click there and we have option join and relate so I'm gonna join this table with the previous one okay so join if you click so it is asking join attribute attributes from a table so which one this one see choose the field in this layer that the join will be based on so which field it will be based on com id because com id is common for this too okay and which one i'm going to select this table and choose the field in the table to the base join that is the com id again we're selecting com id from both of this table and i'm going to ask okay keep all this record i'm going to click okay then it will okay and okay so it is joining so now I have access here see if I click there see now I have access to that table this is joining right but this is only a join but not the complete table it haven't added anything so what we have to do we have to find our that blank space right 
where we have that blank, empty, inval average, that thing, right? So if I right click, select and right click there, and field calculator, then, okay, field calculator, what do we have to do? It's already selected. So here we are going to select the column from that table because now we have the relation there. So which one I need to select? Find that table EROM. We are going to select from that table EROM and 00EQ, triple zero e right? Double click on that one. This one, if I just select, so this field will be filled off by that column. It will be copying everything. I'm going to click, see? So we see we have that and it's done. So we have that, okay? So now I'm going to close it and I'm going to even remove the joints, okay? Remove all joints we have. So now there is no joint and we already have that field, right? See, annual average Q. So this is how we can copy information where we have zero value is copying the zero entire table. Now what I can do, I can display here, right? I can uh, display, let me, okay. Sometimes, yeah, I just use my scroll. So if I have something like that, what you can do, you can use this one, zoom to full extent, or you can go back to previous zoom, okay? Both way it will work, both way it will work since I made it very tiny because my mouse it scrolls pretty fast yeah so I'm gonna select zoom to okay or full extent if you click that global sign it is making yeah okay just to wait a while so what are you gonna do we'll use that annual average flow rate to display the river network previously you saw the length or the width of the river was same but this time if i use that it won't be like that okay it will show you where we have the annual flow and that 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 will basically show you the real network of river right the wider river is close to the bay or the close to the ocean or sea so that's why i need to show that way right so that it can uh, represent the actual field or the reality we have see this is the thing sometimes you have to face that it is not responding yet yeah so i'm gonna click on that zoom to full extent and yeah it's there i'm gonna even okay 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 wait okay so that is the way you have to scroll this way and that way it is showing the entire world <laughs> not a problem what i have to do i have to select there watershed and zoom to layer okay then it will show you the bigger one zoom to layer so these are the options you need to know sometimes you may mismatch everything <laughs> you can mess up but you have to know how to go back so now i have the information i'm right clicking on that properties okay then the symbology and now click on categories this time we are going to use different one quantiles graduated symbols now if you select that value average annual Q, so based on that, we're gonna select 10 fields and are gonna change the <laughs> your width and the color. So now we have, even if you click there, if you wanna make it integer, you can make it like this one, this number. And if you click apply, it will show you that map, see? That is pretty nice, right? So we now we have the watershed there we already have everything right we have the watershed and these are the river network so the bigger width means we have bigger amount of flow so that is see we have the lake and the final one is connected to that lake right lake houston so all this water or if you have any rainfall or precipitation anywhere within this one it is not gonna flow that way it is just that is the boundary Everything will be flowing through these channels and it will be accumulating there and again it will be flowing to that Houston, right? Lake Houston. So this is how you need to know in order to uh, create any map or in order to create any model, you need to know, right, the river network. So if you have this skill, you can do that. Now we can add, okay, this is the outlet of this entire watershed. So if you can measure the flow rate, you can see or you can tell, okay, you can say we have the total amount of flow 
from this we can calculate the runoff using any model heck sms or any model we need to know that okay so this is how you can add and you can uh, transfer information from another table to uh, your uh, chef file right each chef file it has one uh, table we can connect them join them and offer uh, processing or importing data we can even remove them so now what i'm going to do i'm exporting this map as well so export and this map that will be even uh, streams okay streams and i'm going to save it so it will be a pretty nice map you see it's saving with high resolution map and it's done okay here it is i have the map so pretty quickly i created that one i have the legend i have everything i have this nice scale the name and everything okay so that's that this is how we can proceed in the next tutorial i'll show you different thing i'll go in these are the basic thing we have so we'll uh, try to manipulate different calculation and we'll show you how to go deeper and deeper so if you practice if you know how to manipulate the basic operation and time to time we'll face different problem and we'll solve it quickly and if you can remember how to do that uh, for example here we just uh, messed up with the uh, zoom in and zoom out so i fix it using that right click and zoom to layer it will show you the entire layer close to that one okay so thank you very much for watching and practice by yourself and let me know if you have any query or question and if you have face any difficulties definitely you can search for it there are a lot of information in the website of esri or arcgis you can do that and you, if you haven't installed arcgis so you can install that one i have the first video where I already demonstrated how to install GIS now for free. You don't need to even purchase anything. That is the correct version and I uploaded the file and you can easily download from that link and you can use it for your purpose, okay? So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Until